beginning to like it? Uh, I'm beginning to, maybe. Hey, look who walked in. You know them? Uh, no, I don't. Don't think so. Do you mind if I go say hi? No, yeah, whatever. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay. between these two. Things. Wednesday. Here we are. Oh, stop the room. Oh, the lights are a little too bright, too, huh? We're going to take you right here to the couch. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Yes, I'll get some in a minute. Oh. to let you know that Tom was okay, and I brought him here for some coffee, and there he is. <laughs> yes, there he is. How did you know? Well, I finally made it over to the Fort Charles Hotel, and the bartender told me. Oh, that's... Oh. Tom? Tom, it's me, Simone. Come on, I'm here to take you home, honey. Well, uh, don't you think that maybe we should what? let him... Well, I thought maybe we could let him rest. Oh, no, no, no. We've well, imposed on you too much already. Oh, no, no, really. It's nothing. No, I think what he needs right now is some strong, hot coffee. Well, I tell you what, I have some cooking. And you and I could have a cup while we let him rest for a little bit. That would be nice, thank you. I'd love a cup. Oh, Tom. I'm so glad you were able to bring him home before he decided to drive home. Though I'm sure in this condition he would have thought twice about it. Yeah, 
I was worried about that, too. You're a real good friend to us, Louise. talk to you. Here? Uh, no, no, in your office as early as possible tomorrow morning. I represent Colton Shore and I want to look over the statement he made to the police. I think he's innocent. <laughs> you don't give a rat's dinner whether he's guilty or innocent. It's a nice flashy job. You're just looking to further your crummy career. Why are you so defensive? It's a routine matter and I have the legal right to pursue it. Sadly enough, that's very true. Do you really think that he killed one of your old pals? Well, he seems to think he does. Whether he has or not is up to the system. Okay, so tomorrow? Yes, why don't you call me? In the morning. In the morning. That it? Yeah, that's it. Good. Hi. Hi. I, uh... <clears throat> I apologize for having to ditch you out of the zoo. It's all right. It didn't look like that was a very pleasant encounter with Mr. Baldwin. Well, I haven't had a pleasant encounter with him for years. However, it was nothing compared to the one I had earlier. Duke? I guess you knew that's where I was headed. I had a pretty good idea. You know, I think someone did get into the library household. I may not be able to get Anna out, but I can do something about my daughter. You want to get Anna out? If I can. I thought that just last week you told me that you were going to stay out of their lives. Well, things are a little different now. But there's not much I can do about Anna. Well, she is married to Duke. And uh, considering the fact that she's pregnant, I'd say they're pretty happily married. Yeah. i got to stay out of that area. You're right. You know something? What? I'd much prefer to spend the entire evening alone with you. Let's get out of here. Great. No point in leaving this. <laughs> Another bottle of wine for Mr. Howard and company. Coming up. Is, uh, that the same Howard who's uh, running for office? All I know is he's uh, some kind of big shot. down over there and leave the opener and I'll take care of it, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. He's a very unobtrusive fellow. Yes, they're very hard to find. Enough about him. Back to us. Yeah. I could stay like this forever. That looks two of us. My campaign seems lifetimes away. <laughs> so does General Hospital. All of reality is blocked out for the evening. This is reality. This seems more like a dream. You in my arms feels very real to me. Granted, it has a dreamlike quality about it.
another lad of yours. So sorry for all the trouble I've caused you and your mommy. I love you both so very, very much. So sorry for what's happened with Oh. 